Right, so we've landed in Milton Keynes car park and I think I can hear George's car from here. Let's see. Is that him? Oi! What's up? What's up? What's up, banger? everyone welcome back to Carl is on it my gosh it's been a long time it's been a long time since I've been back on the YT game but people I am back and also I'm back with a collab so today I'm gonna to be meeting a youtuber named George Whiting it's gonna be linked in the description from there and yeah the guy's a cool guy so we're gonna go down there he's also got a BMW 1 series as well so it'll be nice to sort of see the comparison his one's the 118i same engine but he's done an exhaust mod that sound it's a bit stiff it's there it's a bit different to my one basically um instead of the whole back box deleted he's got the midsection removed but he's got a back box so it'll be nice to sort of hear like the difference really so we'll go see that and then uh yeah it'll be a nice meet so people stay tuned and let's get straight to the video right so we've landed Milton Keynes car park and I think I can hear George's car from here let's see is that him Oi! What's up? What's up? What's up, banger? Jeez! Man like George! Hey! Don't go anywhere! Okay, so now we've blocked this lady in. <laughs> right, let me jump out. What's up, banger, bro? How are you, man? Hey! Lich man, yeah, my crazy. gosh man, this is looking nice you know yeah, Wow, actually looking nice, looking so nice Hey, don't worry about mine man <laughs> Wow, my gosh, just looking at all the Literally, literally, uh, literally, the, literally. Plate, the only difference is really the wheels <laughs> Even the number plate, same side as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, wow, that is so nice, man. That is actually nice, actually nice, man. As you can see, <laughs> the car's looking so. <laughs> My gosh, absolutely. Mine. Yeah, yours are the blue ones. Mine are like the white ones. In fact, let me just keep my halos on. Let's change that. There we go. There we go. So we got the halos working from there. But the car is looking nice. So differences, of course, you can see is the wheels. George has got silver wheels on there. Mine the black, so I wanted the black and black theme. And then the lights as well. Mine are the uh, pre facelift. These ones are the facelift lights, which looks nice. Good comparisons from there. We've even got the shortened plates as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine shortened plates. And all three you bought. Yeah, still looks nice though. Chase, he's got the Remus tips as well. Even the carbon uh, diffuser too. What wheels are? What do you call these? Three SDM uh, zero point zero four. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jeez. yeah. Looking nice. You've even got the um, skirt as well. I've realised. Yeah, I got that from eBay. It's <laughs> actually well that, good, looks, that looks good, yeah, you know. Yeah. You yeah. That. You yeah that's that. actually nice. Yeah, it's nice. It looks like a nice addition, to be fair. Yeah. Hmm. And then what lights are your ones? These are the Depo they're the, they're, V1 they're the V1. V1. Okay, yeah. Um, so they came out, I think 2012 ish or something. But okay. I've got them second hand, but the good yeah. thing about them is yeah. I can change the LEDs in them. Okay. When they die. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. But like those ones there are brighter because I upgraded the that side, but not. Oh, but no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the moment, yeah. All but, right. Uh, it's working, man. Yeah, My yeah, gosh. Yeah. Then you still got your, you kept your original badge, yeah, the original black and blue, yeah. 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 And my so I was going to go for a blue and black sort of theme. Okay. I but then yeah, yeah. yeah and then there's my one mine's the carbon fiber so those are like the differences that you can see really that you can just catch from your eyes from there side by side you would think it's the same car <laughs> take two all right <laughs> two one let's do this open the roofs up so this is the difference between the facelift and the pre-facelift let's see if there's any difference at all i'm not sure if there would be i don't i don't think there would be a difference to be fair but there we go. Okay. Wow, look at the synchronization. <laughs> I bet people walking there thinking, what is going on? <laughs> My gosh. All right, bro. You take off. You take off. I'm waiting on you. Cheats. 
MS mode, ready to go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, it's going, let's go. Wow, I'm liking the sound of that. Right, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but I've got the camera mount on my head. So now me and George are now driving roof down. And this is what, this is, this is an experience. <laughs> same, same car, it's almost the same, same. So yeah, it's, it's interesting really, to be fair. People are probably thinking, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> oh well, let's do this thing. different sound the, the difference of the exhaust sounds already but both are similar both are similar but you can you can hear the difference straight away yeah. don't go anywhere hey. Hey. <laughs> Same cars, it's like it having deja vu. Only ones with black wheels and ones with silver. <laughs> Man, honestly, I've been having too much fun of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can actually do nice cheek. Hey, shh, do not go anywhere. Oh my gosh. You can get so many nice pictures from this. Okay, so we're about to do an exhaust rev sound comparison. Yours has got um, it's got a back box yeah, in your side. Yeah. But I think because I removed the, the middle side, the side middle it does, side, kick, it it does bit, kick it a bit. Yeah, as soon as it comes from there, it's loud yeah. and then it silences itself from there. So you hear it more yeah. from the left side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get a bit of a um, more of a growl with mine. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alrighty, people, we are ready. Enjoy this car now. This is one series, so this is gonna be interesting. It's a one one eight i. So uh, doesn't matter. It's all about the driver. Hey. <laughs> He's got manual gearbox as well, so I'm gonna record as soon as we get out from here. Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. Do not go. Yeah, this is definitely a little quiet to the mine. I yeah. can just hear it already. If you have to hear the um little uh intake. Mm. Oh you what have you done if one intake in yours? Yeah, you'll be able to hear it a little bit. Ah, yeah. that's why probably that, that little... Yeah, yeah, you can hear okay. it. Um, normally when I change gear, you should mm. be able to hear it in a minute. Mm. Um, but it's normally just... It's not very loud, you know. It's not mm. very loud. So you have yeah. to run there, um, okay. change your part the normal way, you literally switch yeah. it Yeah. Have, you got, have you got have you got the induction hose as well? Uh, no, or is it still the stock one? Yeah, so it's still the stock holder. Do you know if you put if you put the if you put like a silicone or like a um, aluminium one, right? It'll actually sound louder. Make it a bit louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll come out louder. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was thinking of getting the K and M one, where it has mm. that wiggle, doesn't it? Yeah. But I just kept it. Just kept it this one. Yeah. <laughs> just for the time being. Yeah. Eesh. To be fair, okay, let me record this bit now. Yeah. So basically, so we we're just talking about the yeah. manual gearbox, right? And, uh, what's it what's your thoughts on it? So basically, it does feel quite sharp. Yeah. Right? It's not. It's, it's obviously not the shortest ever, but yeah. it does feel quite short for like uh, a car of this, or you know, like just an M Sport mm, or whatever. Mm. But um, also the gearbox is lovely to hold. Like, yeah. You hand inside. Yeah. Straight, second it, strength. Third, it literally but, looks like a short yeah. shifter. That it doesn't look like small yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit like the new Type R's. I think they have like a really short. Um, really. And yeah, okay. Kind of helps with that. Mm. Uh, but it's yeah, that's nice. It's a nice feel. Mm. It's not too bad for a standard. Yeah. 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 That's serious, man. That's serious. To be fair. Oh yeah, George. You also were saying as well that you wanted to. You're looking to sell your car as well, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm thinking of selling this. Um, yeah. So if anyone's interested, hey. yeah, yeah, man. It's a clean one series, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. So I'm thinking of selling this and get something turbo or just mm. faster, really. Mm. Um, it's been fun doing this car, obviously, mm. and I haven't had it very long. But, yeah. Wow, my gosh, man. Maybe so, yeah, so you know, people hit George we'll up, hit George up, hit him up with offers. Yeah, this yeah, car yeah. is going to be for sale, so yeah, it's going to be on know. Facebook and Gumtree and now I have like proper pictures and everything. Mm. Well, um, so, yeah. stay tuned for that, people. Yeah, yeah. So, right now, we're going to go for a drive and experience the Emmanuel 118. Right? So, well, let's do this. Let's get out of this place. Get out. <laughs> yeah. We've only done what, 54,000 miles? 54,000 miles, wow. yeah. This, this car's like, yeah, it's mid, man. How, how many, how, how many nice. miles? Wow. Sorry, yeah. bro. But how many miles did you have when you when you bought, first bought the car? How uh, many it was only on 49K. Okay. So for a 2011 car, that yeah, that's is literally like 6K. Yeah. Mm, like that's brilliant, you know. That's actually really good. Because yeah. when I bought my one, I think it had about, it was 42,000 miles. Okay. And now I've done 66,000. So I've just been yeah, going just everywhere. Alone, yeah, yeah so literally. Alone, and it's a 58 plate, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, this, the, the previous owner they just literally didn't drive it that much, only like mm. 2,000 miles or so. Yeah, yeah I think my like previous owner was like yeah. disabled or something, so they got like mm. a bit of a deal with it and okay. stuff. And that kind of, I meant that they didn't drive it much, obviously. Mm. People, I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> can you see that aerial from there? It literally looks the size of that lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> that's what yeah, I was talking about. That literally, that's why I'm saying if you yeah. have an aerial, your standard aerial, mm. replace it honestly, you'll see 100%, the difference. You'll 100%. actually see the difference in your car it looks. Yeah. This has been the most annoying thing of this car. Having a long antenna, it really does kill the look of it. Just look at the size of that. My goodness, it just pokes out to the moon. The average 
and what do you usually average your miles per gallon? It seems like around 10 is probably around 27, 28. 27, okay. Yeah, that's I've been, pretty that's just because it's manual, obviously I'm holding on to the gears. Yeah, the yeah. I know, I know the roads where I live in, so yeah. I know when to give a bit of a for yeah. when to, you know, but it's not too bad like on mm. long journeys it probably gets to around 35 but obviously it doesn't come up with it on the computer but i reckon it's around 35 oh fair play something. yeah which is not too, that's pretty good like, that's decent that's uh, decent yeah i think with my one um around town i usually get about 20 22 yeah 22 to 26 oh, nice. yeah okay. oh, it's, wow. yeah i don't know if it's between if it's my heavy foot or it's your big feet that's what it is yeah it's size 13s <laughs> yeah it's size 13s yeah man Jeez. but yeah man um it's but what i've seen is the automatic is i think it's about two miles per gallon less than yeah. the than the manual version so that's a big factor to why it yeah, is what yeah. it is but I think I used to, I managed to average on a motorway journey about 36, yeah. 36, I think that I was just doing 50 miles okay. an hour. And that's that's alright, yeah. that's not bad, yeah. that's not like average a, sort of mm, any car really. Yeah, really exactly, so um, it, was not, it was not too bad, but yeah. about about 60 pounds a week of fuel, 30, oh, yeah, well, 50 okay, okay. to 60 pounds a week. And that's a full tank, yeah? Yeah, actually no, that's half a tank. Half, half a tank? Yeah, half I, a tank. I, always, oh. I, always, yeah, I always top my car half a tank. Yeah, so do I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always do my half tank and it costs about, 35 quid for half mm, tank. Okay. Fair play, man. So, and how long does that last crazy. you? How long yeah. does that last you? That lasts me, well, I mean, I don't drive much, really. Yeah. Uh, during the week, I normally work from home, so okay. I drive most weekends. So, yeah. yeah, that probably lasts me two weeks, a week, maybe two weeks, yeah. Wow, two, two weeks, weeks, man. Hey! Yeah, no, no, my gosh, like, the yeah, amount yeah. of money I saved two weeks. Hey! Yeah. My yeah. day, that's decent, I know, man. I know. I've only done like three, no, 4,000 miles in the last. Okay. I'll say eight months, nine months. Wow, that is so little to be fair. Yeah, that is yeah. actually really little. That's why my insurance is alright as well. So. Wow, decent, decent. Yeah. How much are you paying on your insurance? I'm only paying six fifty. Six Huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's know. going on? <laughs> but basically, I live in a, in a village. Like, ah, outside that's of, why, outside yeah, town, it yeah, makes so. sense. A bit in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Um, my uh, my dad's got like the multi car thing, so okay, kind of that's to it. why it makes sense. Yeah, because yeah, I got my parents on the thing yeah. as well. I get the multi car kind of discount yeah. a bit on my part, so oh, it's not too play. bad. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Yeah, um, that's decent. I mean, yeah, for my first car, it was only mm. like a grand. <laughs> wow. A well grand. Rich. Yeah. My yeah. first car was about, I think it was 2.5. You know, my first that car crazy. for a 1.4 Corsa. By the way, it's not the end. Um, the turbo one I had. It was the 1.4 NA. So I'll probably yeah. do yeah, uh, yeah. show pictures of it in a, a, a future video soon. But yeah, that's yeah, interesting, man. Jeez. And now we're back with the 120. And so with this video now, <laughs> it's all going to be on George's channel. Yeah, so yeah. you guys have already seen it. But this is going to be George's reaction, really, to my car, really. So yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, let's do this. So unfortunately, no outro for the video. However, new video will be coming out soon. Um, so the reaction video will be coming out on George's channel. So stay tuned for that, people. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Happy New Year to everyone. Also, Merry Christmas as well. Uh, got the the two events backwards. But anyway, you guys get the point. Anyway, people, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Mod videos are coming next. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you soon. Peace.